here's a big section of the rock wall and it's right on the edge and just cut back a little bit is that layer of rock I showed you from the other side and then the beginning of part one there's the start of the wall but here's the most intriguing part of it it's right here if you look at the rock you wonder look at all them different pieces in there and the square cut rock were they mortared in? were they somehow built that way? you get to thinking because that wall goes way back here I'm going to show you how that wall joins the other wall here okay here's the other end of that wall and I'm going to show you how the smaller stone rock wall ties into this big one like right here I'll show you you look out across it looks like a walkway down to get out of the wall now was it a gate and how much stone fell because I'll show you there's stone here that used to be stacked up and the thing that really gets me is this rock is nowhere near native to this area this quartz that would have been conglomerate so how did the conglomerate rock get here there's nice big chunks how was that done when there's no conglomerate quartz around here okay here's a view of the two walls there's stone here that looked like they'd fallen they were cut at one time and we have this stone wall in the middle that I've been showing you and just on the other side is the huge stone up there now here's the view looking up now this would have been made to see down in the valley but to me it's almost like a ram head with the mouth and the horns going down around the side of the head. Just the odd way it was stacked up there just makes you wonder who would have laid these huge stone. You just look down you can see how far it really is a long way down this wall goes for four and a half miles if you look on Google Earth you'll see and, it, and it's just captured my attention because how did all these rocks that aren't native to the area get here and look exactly like a wall with square stones and I get to thinking about the stories of the old of Noah and the time before when the angels ascended and had children and Genesis says about they had uh, children that were giants if you read the King James Version and the book of Enoch speaks of their children the giants if you just look I'll take you over here long way down there not a lot of footing see it's not easy to walk all of this if you run into this stuff so if you uh, look around there's a lot of odd shaped rocks but majority of them rocks come to a square corner and are laid very square There's a view of how the rocks were made, how tight they are, and how square. All along this trail on the back side of the wall where it's shortest, I'm definitely seeing what looked like a walkway in the back side of these rocks. You just look, peer up at them, 
a definite wall behind and a, some kind of retaining wall or walkway behind that. Right here is what I'm talking about. You look, a stack stone, and real obvious stack stone is back here, right along this wall. You know, years ago, even back in the 50s, people were saying, hey, this this area here was definitely built by the giants or people old. And now I think we're just getting a little too involved and a little too out of whack because now we're saying it's three mil 300 million years old is what the ar archaeologists are saying. And the odd thing is, they, well, where did this stone come from? It's not from around here. So, you explain that. I don't think they're that old. I think it's what the earth was. The earth is only thousands of years old. And, you know, with man on earth, this could have happened. I mean, we have rocks here, the size of the rocks laid in Lebanon, and you just look at them. Okay, well, why are these rocks here? Now, we went about a mile and a half back here, but if you look at this rock, what is holding it? Now, this massive rock here, you get to think, now, how is that there? I'm giving you the back view of it and just look at the rock alongside of it and it's amazing just to look at them here's a view of the wall where the eagle was you can see that this has a wing shape and a mouth shape going the whole way around front view of the eagle you can see it looks like two eyes almost and there you can see a part of a tail and here just an odd rock that I showed you earlier it's kind of peculiar shape I'm trying to figure out what that might resemble if you really look at it, it kind of resembles an owl Here we are at Dinosaur Rock, and perhaps it's a dinosaur, perhaps it was made to look like something else, but this is different rock, it's a sedimentary rock, and you can see like the front of the arms or whatever it had to be sitting down, and right now it's looking towards directly towards the west where the sun is. and. You can definitely see a distinction of the eye and the nostril if you look up right there. And I'm just impressed with how this is just overlooked as something that just got eroded into this shape because you can go around a lot of places and not find anything like this. Especially in the uh, Appalachian Mountains. We're not talking something that's been eroded in the Grand Canyon or or something along the ocean. This is way up on top of a mountain and it's here and it's unbelievable. And I'm going to show you something that's close to it and it's a square type formation and we're going to try to figure out what that could have been or you know just a natural occursion.
So here's Dinosaur Rock. And right over next to it is a strange formation of rock over there. And I'm going to walk over and show you. And what was this? I'm not sure. So here's this rock, and you can see rocks were stacked somehow to form a flat area on top. Rock up on top in a big platform, and it's looking directly at the dinosaur rock in the western sky towards the sun.